fish. Bump it forward, man. Try not to turn it. That's the Mustad, that's the uh, 39950, which is the most common one that we all use around here. That's a 6 aught. we use a 7 aught. Uh, sometimes the, uh, really the hook size will depend on the bait size. Just match, if you use a real small bait, you use a small hook. Uh, we like to use as big a hook as we can get away with because it gets more of that meat. So we're using a real big bait, we'll throw a 7, 8, 9, even a 10 aught out there sometimes. Uh, we'll, get it, we'll go as big a leader and big a hook as we can get away with. Because, uh, I mean, you can never have too much on them because you never know when you're going to hook them. And they got them 200 pounds swimming around here all the time. They just had, just this week, uh, this past week, I think uh, friends of ours caught like a 180 pounder and a 191. So you never know, you know, at any time. You know, sometimes you just get, get caught with a smaller tackle right. and you just have to fight them longer. You know, most of the time you can still get them in, but if you can get away with a bigger, bigger leader, bigger hook, so be it. Of course, and then, you know, on, on your feed time, once you get the hit, like, how many seconds are you waiting before you lock it up? Uh, each there. bait is, is different. Uh, now, when we're using the pogies, they don't really eat them real good. Uh, like when we're using hardtail with the Blue Runner and uh, 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 Big Eye Scad and uh, Threadfin Herring and stuff like that, then uh, the fish are typically, that, that's a lively bait, and that fish will typically attack that, that bait, and he'll get it, and he'll have it, and he'll run. And, uh, you know, all we're doing, if he's running really fast, then almost immediately we'll bring the drag up. We'll give him just a couple seconds and then we'll just ease the drag up. We don't want to shock it. You know, we don't want to just pop it up. We'll ease the drag all the way to the strike okay. and then we'll reel on it. But with the pogies, they don't eat them as good. I, I think the bait just doesn't swim around. It's not a real lively fish. And uh, I, I don't think they, they attack it in the same manner because that fish is just barely moving around. So sometimes with, when I'm fishing pogies, it is a hard setup. Uh, customers sometimes will jump the gun on them because they're, they're see, they've maybe fished with us in the summer when we've got good bait, so they see that technique. And then on the pogies, they may miss it. Uh, so what we're looking for is really for that line to really just take off good. So it may it may take it and then stop and then take it and stop. And when it finally eats it, you can tell it'll start running you know full speed. And at that point, then we'll go ahead and lock it up. So we're, definitely with pogies, each bite is different. You just kind of got to play it to the fish. However, however the fish is doing, then that's the, you have to kind of just lock it up when he's got it and he's taking it real good, you no know, fast for a good long time. He hadn't dropped it. Right. All right. 